One of the things you had mentioned was, you know, Cushing's and IR and people were seeing a better result feeding their horses a lower sugar, a lower starch uh, feed. What is, are sugar and starch the same thing? If not, what's the difference? And what does that affect in the horses? Sugar is a specific uh, type of, of carbohydrate, but with all of your carbohydrates, it's metabolized into blood glucose. Mm -hmm. um, the biggest issue in, in IR is the insulin receptors are not functioning properly mm -hmm. um, to transport. It's just like it's just like you know diabetes in humans. Um, so when when somebody with diabetes manages their blood sugar, they don't have uh, the flare up issues. Um, so Whenever you have an insulin issue, let's call it horse diabetes, whenever you have any of those issues, it's always you need to be on a low starch, low carbohydrate feed as possible. Mm -hmm. um, and then one thing we've done is where we put the chromium um, in uh, some of the feeds, particularly the one formulated for those issues. Mm -hmm. It's a no frills, low starch feed. You know, it's not very, we can't make it very tasty because you can't tell molasses in it. Yeah. Um, to give it, you know, flavor, but um, the chromium really seems to help. And, mm. you know, I had a customer, uh, I ran into her fox hunting a couple weeks ago. She said, hey, my, my coaching horse is looking great. I said, well, is this, what's, what, are, what are the management things we're doing? Um, and she's doing the normal, the normal medical management. Mm -hmm. But if this has made a huge improvement. And um, we were out to dinner with some friends of ours the other week, and uh, the, uh, the husband of the couple is a doctor. I said, hey, he's a you know, family practice. I said, have you, do you have any experience in managing uh, diabetes with chromium? He said, you know, you're not the first person to ask me that. Um, he said, I've had patients come in, they stopped taking a multivitamin that had chromium in it, and then they had more trouble managing their um, blood sugar. Interesting. So why? You know, what's what's the, the take on that? He said, I, he said, I don't know. I said, well, let me tell you what I know. <laughs> and it was like, it's just a little defeat guy trying to educate the doctor. I said, I said we use it in, in horses. And I was you know, wondering if you've had any, any luck uh, managing or with that in um um and people mm. yeah it is very interesting because earlier you were talking about the vet that came to you and you guys consulted the nutritionist and we don't really see that in human practice right like if you go into the doctors with diabetes the doctor mm. isn't then consulting a nutritionist so you guys are almost ahead of the game with, you know, being that close with vets and working that well with vets. And yeah, I, we, we try, and, and vets that came in, they just moved to Aiken from, uh, from Colorado. Mm. And so we want to get on the feed. We've heard good things about it. We want to get ours on it. We want to get, and then have a solid feed that we can recommend. It's well, here, talk to the nutritionist. Mm -hmm. They're your resource, you know, provided by us. Um, so we'll be, you know, we'll be glad to help. We'll be glad to do whatever we need. Um, and that way we can be ahead of any issues that come up. Mm -hmm. And, if, you know, if you have, you know, when, when, when patients go to the doctor, they're all doing different things as far as diet, exercise, lifestyle, whatever. Mm -hmm. With them, if they have all of their, their horses that they treat on a similar feeding program that mm -hmm. they've recommended, you're getting rid of some of the variables in the equation. Yeah, it's very, it's a very interesting debate of how much does nutrition play into overall health and in humans and horses. Um, one of